Hi guys, welcome to Kermis Corner. I found these in a drawer. I didn't know I had these. I'm not even sure if I ever used them. Uh, if I did, it's been a long time. So I've had these for a long time. Not sure if they still work, but it is still fluid. So we'll find out. These are liquid acrylics and these are pearl sand liquid acrylics. So those are going to be shimmery and shiny. They're by Daler Rowney, I think, if I pronounce that right. Um, I do have normal ink, but this is liquid acrylic. Never tried this. So when I saw this, because I've just been opening drawers and um, yeah, with me is it out of sight, out of mind. So I haven't seen these in uh, two years, I think. So I had completely forgotten about them. That can happen if I put it in a drawer, a closer drawer. And at the end of the day, I don't know it exists. Well, in an hour, I don't know it exists. Um, anyway, but sometimes that can be nice because you have surprises. You see, I have something like this. Hmm, what do I do with it? Well, I take out my rainbow journal and I took this out already. And we're going to the next page. I still... <laughs> it's so weird. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this page. And... Okay, so what I want to do is use this on my page. I took out a straw. <laughs> I still have a pink one. <laughs> um, well, that's how far I got. No, I'm, I might use this first one of these as a background uh, and and then I want why do you take out a straw well I want to put a drop on here and then to see if I can blow um, through the straw and make the drop <laughs> you know what I mean right okay uh, I don't know how to tell you that so I'm just gonna show you um, right I need a picture so I took out this but these might be more background papers uh, I saw this in a drawer where I keep pictures and stuff. What is this? Oh, this is nice. It's an old PTT thing. <laughs> okay, my uh, mother-in-law used to work. It's, it's a postal office. and it, This is very old. Um, washi tape. Now I know where my washi sheet is. Ja, seid ihr denn verrückt geworden? I don't know. It means, uh, oh, it says over here, tell me, have you gone completely mad? It's German, so I must have taken this out of a German magazine. <laughs> okay, weird. Um, so I'm not sure if there are pictures in here. Well, maybe I can use a background. Sheets, music sheets, an old magazine. Oh, this is nice. This is from the magazine Flow. Then you have old maps. Okay. Oh, nice circles. All right. Um, oh, I do like this. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's loads more. Oh, old Dutch stamps. Very old because they were only six cents. <laughs> oh, this was for charity. So you bought a, a stamp and then it was 12 cents plus nine cents for charity. Um, and, but these aren't Dutch, these are all kinds of stamps. These are Dutch, and these are all... <laughs> this is Dutch, but it's a Japanese one. But it's a uh, um, Nijntje. This is from Miffy. Oh, it's nice. So uh, this is a Dutch drawing on a Japanese <laughs> postage stamp. I do like this, though. Hmm. Hmm, okay. And a Happy Meal. Oh, my little pony. But these are background papers but I can fussy cut one of these wait wait there's an idea for me the rest is all background it's all just background paper and washi tape okay I have no idea what this is this is probably one of those uh, that I think yeah I don't know what to do with this let's just put it in this envelope over here and I'll figure it out oh <laughs> okay do I use this? This is fun. Like I said, I could fussy cut one of these. And then uh, I really want to use the Dutch ones. Well, Japanese, but with the Dutch drawings. Although this is nice too. And the pushy cat. And... <gasps> it's too cute. I'm going to use it again. I am going to start with this one. Um, yeah, I want to use see those two. 
so I have to do... Well, it's gonna go on top, there's not much to decide, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do... Oh, no! Tear this off. This is gonna go over here. There's not much room for the for these drops. And I don't even know if that will go nicely together. So let's just start and let's just see where we go. Um, I want to have a really kind of a boring background. I could keep it white, but I'm not sure if this paper will hold uh, drops of this. It might just go right through, like over here, you can still see a little bit of the other side where I used, I think, watercolor. Um, this paper absorbs everything really fast. So, uh, but if I want to use this, well, maybe I can use, I have them over here. This one or this one, you know, those really fun colors. I'm gonna go for the light one, but I'm gonna do this because the background shouldn't distract from the rest, which is gonna do with this. <laughs> so what do I do first? Shake it really well. See if there's a dauber still alive. Yes, there is. So if you're new here, these are daubers by Tsukineko. And um, <laughs> I've bought these, I think, 15 years ago and used them so often. And, uh, well, one by one, they're starting to crumble and, you know, die, which is really sad. But oh well, I still have lots left. I have taken out some of this uh, painter's tape. Really nice, made a nice bracelet. So I do this so that it doesn't stick that well. And um, you can tear it off more easily. I, I just took a little bit. It's just... <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. It perfectly fits. Shouldn't have been a millimeter smaller. <laughs> so I'm going to do this over here. So I don't need to do the top part. Here we go. Just going to put it on the page. Oh, I still have this. Post, telephone and telegraph. It's for the post, telephone and telegraph. It could be English. PTT. Okay, I want to use that one day. Um, oh, really nice. This is just smearing on a background, but I really love to do that. Something over here that doesn't want to hold paint. I don't know what it is, but... It is a nice dot. I have my first dot on the page. <laughs> See, even if I don't want dots, they just appear. <laughs> I can't help it, guys. <laughs> I like dots, and apparently dots like me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, a bit over here. Nope, it's really a dot. I like it. So, okay. Now, where is my new leftover paint magazine? It's over here. And I've got some leftover paints. You could, can go on and on and on because there's always paint left in these things. Oh, that's even a bit of green. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Nice background someday. Well, okay. Oh, no. See, this one is crumbling as well. It's dying. Oh no. But it'll still work for a, a few times. And like I said, I found a drawer full of these, so I have more of them. And I haven't used those. So now, uh, oh my gosh, I have no idea if this is going to be nice. But I'm going to do it anyway. I need a, a page. And actually I wanted to glue this on, but I forgot. So I'm going to loosen the tape a bit put this under here so if i blow <laughs> over the page it'll go on the paper and not on my next page um should i use green <laughs> and red red ish it's a bit pink i'm just gonna start with one drop if i faint <laughs> because this is too much <laughs> we'll find out <laughs> okay oh boy so, I uh, have not tried this before. I have no idea if this is going to work. Let's do it anyway. One drop. <laughs> I don't think it's liquid enough. Here we go. <gasps> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I like it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> uh, bread. That's fun. But I, um, I'm just going to use another color. I really think this is fun. <laughs> so a bit of pink. Uh, over here. Come on. You <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, this one is. <laughs> it's already nice, I think. Uh, yeah, this is a blob. A blob. Let's see if I can take away the blob. Nope. I can smear it out. So that was uh, dried up a bit. Now I have uh, this really nice dried up. <laughs> Let's do that again. Let's shake it a bit more. And let's see if we can have a drop fall off. Patience, patience, young grasshopper. I don't have patience, come on. You can do it, yes, there is a little drop, but I want some more. Okay, so I need to clean the nozzles. It's a bit dried out. Mm, I've had these for years and years. Here we go. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so faint. Um, yeah, it just didn't flow out the way I wanted it to, so I'm going to do another drop. <laughs> Here we go. I need to need to take a while. I feel a bit faint. I'm gonna do the red one as well. Red pinkish. Okay, um red over here. You can do it. Look at that. Okay. A one, a two. I try to push it in a certain... Um, I wanted it to go that way, but it just goes where it wants to go. Uh, now I also have black. Oh, well, why not? Why not? It might make it too busy. It's weird, but can I make little flowers at the end of it? Or am I just going to leave it like this? Okay. Oh my gosh, did you see this one? Phew. Oh, I'm dizzy now. I need to stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but I do like it. I think, maybe, perhaps. Is this still nice? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh boy, it needs more if I want to make this. <laughs> this isn't gonna work, is it? <coughs> Um, well, we'll just make it work. Yes, we will. We will. We'll make it work. How? I don't know yet. Any ideas? I'm just gonna leave this over here for a while and figure out which one I want, maybe want over here. I'm not sure if this is nice anymore. Um, I think I like this one because it's, well, they're all typical Dutch. These are Dutch, um... Folklore clothing. I don't know the, the the word for that. This one is very famous. And um, but I'm going for the yellow one, I think, or the green one. Let's 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 see. Oh, this reminds me. I uh, have written a, a little book about making your own greeting greeting cards. Difficult word. And that was with postage stamps. I made one with real postage stamps. I have no idea. Do I have them somewhere over here? I don't think so. Sorry, can't show you. But I made one with real postage stamps. Hmm. And I made one with uh, fake postage stamps like this. Uh, and you had to fussy cut them. And what we didn't think about when we made that little book with the collage sheets that went with it, that you had to fussy cut them. <laughs> that was a lot of work. People didn't like it. 
They did like the cards, but they didn't like the fact that they had to do this. It takes hours to fussy cut one of these. Ah, but oh well. Okay, I like the color better, but I just love this typical Dutch uh, headgear. So I'm going to do this for the next 15 minutes, minutes but that's okay, I can catch my breath. Phew. <laughs> and then I might do a few more, I don't know. And I'm not even sure if this is going to be nice. So, <sighs> see you in 15 minutes. <laughs> Just a few more to go guys and the trick with this and actually fussy cutting in general is to keep your scissors still and to move your paper. So I'm holding this still and I'm moving my paper and of course I am uh, closing my scissors slowly otherwise nothing would happen but so that's actually not that hard to do it's just it takes so much time. Oh my goodness, I can remember doing this for hours when we made that little book. I'm going to see if I can find it in, a, in just a second. But first I need to figure out if I like this. Not really. <laughs> um, but I can try and make it a bit worse. I mean, maybe not worse, but... Um, yeah, what shall I do? Put some more, because this is a bit empty, isn't it? I do have these. Uh, these are postage stamp as well. I'm just gonna take one off. Oh, that's kind of nice. Not sure if I'm gonna use that one. I might use a different color. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna try this. I'm going to turn this around. Like this. And do it the other way. Right? Right. I'm going to use green. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. <sighs> well, let's look at it like this. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this anymore. You know what? It is what it is, right? I have to work with this now. And this this is... Um, or well, something else. That's for sure. Let's, let's just do a little bit more. Why not? Okay, that's it. That's just it. Uh, this is enough. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> It's enough. <laughs> it's weird. It's too empty over here. I know. I feel that too. So, my gosh, I'm dizzy. What do we have? So, be, if you do this, don't do too much because don't faint. Um, I'm just going to glue this on over here. And... Um, so what I'm going to do is put glue on this edge. So this will be glued down. And the rest is going to go over here. A bit of glue. Ta-da-da, ta-da-da. And then glue it down. That doesn't work. <laughs> Wait a minute. I need to cut off a little bit. I want this to be a bit smaller. I have to watch out because there's glue on this bit piece of paper. Oh yeah, right over here. And I want it to be like this. No, I don't. It has glue over there. Oh, boy, boy. Can I still do this? Yes, I can. Okay. <gasps> okay. Well, let's hope this is okay. And I'm going to glue the other stamp over here. Well, that 
didn't go the way I wanted it to because this is now on the other page. But oh well. Let's see if we can make it better. Oh my gosh, I still think this page is so weird. Looking back at it, I should have just put a nice face over here. This looks like the annoying orange. Do you still know that? It's the beginning of the internet. There was this annoying orange. It was so funny, but so annoying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is gonna wrinkle a little. Oh, well, you know what? I don't really care. This isn't really nice and smooth. It's wrinkly and there's a little bit <laughs> over here that I can't get up. Come on. You watch scissors, do your work. Right. Well, it's uh, different. I mean, it's different. That's for sure. <laughs> well, maybe it's not even that bad. Where is my lovely postage stamp? And a quote. Hmm. A quote. Oh dear. A quote. Okay. A quote, guys. I took out my Art by Marlene quotes. <laughs> What's left of it? Um, I think I'm gonna use black ones. That was... Yeah, it's gonna be black. Um, well, what do I have? Just breathe. <laughs> just breathe. This is a really nice one, but it's a bit small. Just breathe. Ah, just breathe while I can't anymore. Breathe through a straw. Um, yeah, yeah, well. Uh, if this takes too long, I'll just edit it out. Um... Okay, guys, I think I found one. Uh, because I love the one about just breathe, but it's just so small. Um, this one, when life becomes blurry, adjust your focus. It became a little bit blur blurry. Blur <laughs> See, can't even say the word. It became a little bit blurry because I, I was a bit out of breath. And yeah, <clears throat> so that's fun. Or your only limit is your mind. One of those. Uh, your only limit is your mind. I really like that quote, by the way. Um, oh, delay, slow down, relax. <laughs> um, but or when life becomes blurry, just just focus, which is really nice because it's very. There's a lot going on. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, first, I need a sponge. Just a few left, and some ink. <coughs> Because I want this to pop out a bit, so I'm going to sponge the edges. <laughs> Makes it pop a bit more. Yes, I like it. Um, well, let's put this on with 3D tape. Or these little thingies. One over here and one over here. And well, one in the middle. And over here. I hope this is dry, by the way. <laughs> we'll find out. Come on. It's also sticky. Here we go. Um, <laughs> let go of me. I'm just gonna put this one over here. Okay, I like it. So, where did I have the other... <laughs> where are... What? Maybe it's... These ones. Uh, I can do some birdies. Uh, I do like the butterflies, though. Or a lion. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna... Ch Ooh, this one is nice. This one is nice as well. They're all nice. You know what? It's gonna be this one. And this is a sticker, I think, maybe, perhaps. But I can also not use it as a sticker and just use decisions. I'm going to use these as well. So this is a sticker, but it's very hard to get off the... Is it a sticker? See, I don't even know. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use it as a picture. Oh, it is a picture, but it's just not a sticker. You know? You know what I mean. Do you? Look, that's nice. And then what did I have? Um, 
where was it? When life becomes blurry, just adjust your focus. Oh, it's gonna be this one. I'm just gonna do it. Don't think about it too much. Just, just adjust your focus. <laughs> do I do it over here? Let's, and then adjust your focus. What's nice? And I'm just gonna do it over here. Yeah, yeah, the, I, I'm sorry, it just needs a dot over here. Well, I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> I kind of love dots, if you haven't had a notice. It is weird, but I kind of like it. I know what's going to make it better. You know what's going to make it better. Right? At least over here. <laughs> Off the page. I always think when it's a bit too busy and I'm going over the dot. No. Okay. And, um, <laughs> sorry. It just isn't, uh, I just know the Dutch word for this. It doesn't feel like it belongs together. It's just all loose elements. It's not one geheel. Putting an, a border around it just, you know, makes you frame it, and so it belongs together. It all, it all comes together very nicely. So when I think a page is just, yeah, it needs some something extra. It's just not the way I planned it. Well, that's every page, but not the way. It's too much. Then having a border around it makes it, you know, it belongs together now. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if. I if you understood, but something like that. <laughs> a dot. And I think I'm gonna use this one. These are not too shiny, not too... You know, poof, there's a dot over there, but also... I have no idea what I'm saying. Why don't I do it smack in the middle? I don't know, I just want it over there. And a little dot underneath. And teeny tiny dot. It's the same colors. Oh, I love that. Well, actually, just a green one, but still. Look at it. No, this is the same color as well. So I am going to put a red dot over here, which is pink, but it doesn't matter. A pinkish red dot. Oh boy, guys, I'm just, I'm just doing something. You know me, I'm just doing so something. But you know what? Now that I try to get this dot in the right spot, which rhymes. Um, I like it. I really like it. This is too empty, but I'm gonna leave it. I need to learn to let go of empty... <laughs> I like busy pages, as you might know, and I need to learn to let go if there is a spot that, uh, empty. <laughs> because empty spots can be nice as well. Um, I think I need to glue down the quote. It doesn't want to stay on the acrylic, liquid acrylic, which is also the distress paint. That's, uh, I mean, the dilution paint. It's also liquid acrylic, but um, well, it doesn't want to stay on that either. Maybe they just don't stick that well. Okay, let me do this very quickly. Okay. Oh, guys, I like it. What do you think? I, I, you see this and you think, oh, nice, post stamps, it's so nice. And then you see, oh, what's that? And then, well, when life becomes blurry, just adjust your focus. And then there's another beautiful stamp. <laughs> uh, it's a weird background. Um, I found out that when you want this to go somewhere, it doesn't. So um, aim for the other side. <laughs> That's a tip I can give you. But it's really nice. It was fun to do. I'm still a bit dizzy, but it was fun to do. Shall I show you real quickly the little books that I made? Because this brings back memories. I'm gonna get it. Just a second. Look, I made these two books. This one, well, this one I made together. Look, it has my name on it. Karin de Graaf and Franca van Lent. We made it together and we had so much fun doing this. So you have these cards, like these. These are the ones I made. We, we, each had a few chapters, and uh, but these were collage sheets. Is there a picture of them? Oh, this was me when I was still very young. 
Um, <clears throat> this one I made. Here, again, my name. <laughs> so funny. Um, well, you don't see the collage sheets. I made these. Anyway, you had uh, sheets like this with a whole lot of these stems on it. And um, you had to fussy cut them or use them as a background. <laughs> and uh, this is one that Frank I made. Oh, I made this one. <laughs> these were so much fun to make and this one is really nice to send to uh, a friend who likes beer. It was, it was so much fun to do this. But like I said, fussy cutting all these little things Whew, that was was a lot of work. This one is really nice with tulips. Uh, but before I made this one, this one was in let me see, it was long ago, long, long, long ago, in two thousand and two. Yeah, long ago. My gosh, it's been twenty one years. I'm getting old. But first, before I made this one, I had made this one. This one is made with real stamps and i'm so posted stamps i'm so proud of this book look it has my name on it and again my picture i was so much younger over here oh my gosh that cute little face and it is signed by why paul geertz um this is the, <laughs> the illustrator of comic books um suske and wiske um willie and wanda in english i think um, in 99, he's, 99, he signed this. Oh, I had forgotten about that. Why I let, had him sign one of these, I don't know. This is from a comic book and I made this book about making your greeting cards. 1998, guys. Long ago. I made this and I looked like this. <laughs> this was so much fun to make. So if you need an idea, I could, shall I do one of these? I can make one of these cards out of this book. If you want me to make some of these, look at them. Let me know if you want me to make a, a bit less, <laughs> a bit less busy uh, postage stamp card uh, with, or, or yes, maybe, maybe a card. Let me know if you want to see me make one of these cards. Uh, because this book is so old, it's no longer available. So uh, look at that, the Beatles. Oh, and my kids were in here. No, they weren't. That was a different. I made another book, a little uh, book like this. But my daughter did this. It says, For Mama, Kusje, Tim and Noortje. It means For Mama, For Mom, uh, Kisses, Tim and Noortje. Oh, they were so proud they were in here. <laughs> they were such cute little kids back then. They're still cute, but just not little. Anyway, I wanted to show you this because I'm very proud of this. But it's been ages ago. My gosh, I'm 57 now, so yeah. It's been ages. <laughs> but uh, I made two of these books and I made another one about uh, Sesame Street and then some... Uh, I was in some bundles with all kinds of different items. I made a few of these books and I'm very proud of them. It's nice to see them back. So when I was working on this, uh, flashbacks, and it was really nice. So I wanted to share that with you. But this one, <laughs> I really like it now. It's, it's busy, but you know, it's really weird because I normally don't make busy pages, but um, <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> oh boy. What do you think? Let me know, guys. Uh, what do you think of this page? I would love to, love to know. I hope you appreciate it because I almost fainted making this for you. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, and again, uh, let me know if you want to make me see some of these cards. These are... and what, what kind of cards? Just let me know. I would love to know. So that's it for today. I had a lot of fun making this. No idea it would end up like this. But uh, and no idea because I just found this in that envelope. I had no idea I would get those flashbacks to when I was very young and made these. <laughs> it was a fun morning. So thank you so much for watching. And all that's left to say is, Groetjes uit Holland. Greetings from Holland. <laughs>